Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, we're talking advanced risk. I'm going to go over a new Tokyo feature with advanced risk called simulated assessments. That's right. You know, you might be trying to do a risk assessment and want to try it out before you start affecting all your results, all your aggregations, all your roll-up values. And they introduced in Tokyo the ability to simulate your assessments before you actually use them. So I'm inside the risk assessment methodologies menu item. This is under advanced risk. If you look up there in the upper left, I'll just type in advanced risk. And under administration, we have a menu item called risk assessment methodology. So that's where I'm sitting at in this list view. I'm gonna pull up the IT risk assessment. Remember, risk is more than just about IT. It's about your business, it's about your operations, and it could be about information technology. And that's what I'm gonna pull up in this one. I've got this IT risk assessment, and I wanna point out something to you. Notice the buttons that are available here in the upper top, upper right, and the buttons that are available here in the lower left of the screen as I have it right now. Those are my UI actions, or my actions that are available. One of them I have is copy. This particular risk assessment is in a published state, so I can't simulate something that's in a published state. But maybe I wanna make a change, and I wanna try out that change before I actually publish it and become as part of all my risk calculations and my risk scores. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. It's gonna create a copy of the entire assessment, all the assessment types that were associated with it, and all of the ancillary metadata type of stuff about calculations and whether to copy responses or allow over it, over, override of results and stuff like that. So it's gonna bring all that over, but it's gonna put it for me in a draft state. And that's gonna be key that this is gonna be draft. So then once it's draft, we're able to simulate this risk assessment. So I've got this copy now. I've got copy of risk assessment up here. You can see my draft is set, or my state, sorry, is set to draft. And if I look down here, I've got all my reference information, my rollup configs, my other configurations associated with this. There's my three different assessment types for inherit, control, and residual assessments. And now I can actually go simulate this. So notice I've got this new button right here under simulate and right there next to publish is simulate. So I can use this to go ahead and pick a risk that we want to do an assessment on. We'll do one, I think there's a messaging service in here. Yeah, electronic messaging, loss of availability for electronic messaging. I'll go ahead and submit that. And when I do this, it's automatically gonna assign it to me, Justin Meadows, if it wasn't clear what my name was. Um, so Justin Meadows will get assigned that assessment. You can see up here, it's been created. And if I click on that, it's gonna take me to the assessment experience for integrated risk management or GRC, governance, risk, and compliance, because ServiceNow can't make up their mind what they're gonna call it. So we are in the GRC tasks homepage. I've got my loss of availability, a loss of availability risk assessment. And notice a little banner I've got at the top. This is a simulated assessment and not used for risk aggregation. It will get deleted once the risk assessment methodology is published. That's key, right? Otherwise, you've got test data out there skewing your metrics, um, especially if this is a risk or an assessment you've been trying to trend over time. So let's get started. I'm gonna go through this assessment really quickly. If you haven't seen risk assessment in service now, this might be new to you, so I'll just walk through. We're gonna say this is a minor impact by clicking there. Likelihood is gonna be possible. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And I save usually because I wanna see what that did to my ratings. And I wanna go in and look at those and see what the qualitative score for each of those. And also once I save, it's gonna compute the inherent risk for me. Um, this case, it's moderate six. I could override it because someone's configured this for me to override, but we're actually showing the simulation here. So I'm gonna breeze on through and we're gonna look at our controls. I'm not gonna add any controls, but I'm gonna say they're all effective for the sake of simplicity. Now controls are usually stuff that's in place to um, mitigate a particular risk. And so in this case, I'm saying, hey, all of my controls are effective. They're mitigating the risk as we expect. And I don't need to do any review of the controls. Everything is perfect and no additional things are necessary. We'll move into the assess residual risk. And here, this is not gonna be applicable in this case, so I get to move on and define my risk response. And here I can choose one or more tasks to accept, avoid, mitigate, or transfer. Again, I'm simulating, so I just wanna review and submit and go ahead and get this submitted for approval. Um, did I miss something? Yeah, I created the task, and then I'm gonna review and submit and request approval. 
hello is my comments to the reprover. So that's moved it all the way through the process there. And now that is done and I can close this window out. I've simulated my risk assessment. Now, if you're coming back in here and you're like, hey, I sent this out to Bob, to Susie, to Joanne, and to Frank, and they were supposed to simulate this and see if it's all working with the new calculations. What you can do is you can use this new related link over here called View Simulate Assessments. Again, this is available when we're in our draft state, which isn't showing, and I've got, and it's refreshing, but there's my draft state at the top um, that this is in a draft state. So we'll go ahead and do the view simulated assessments here on the lower left. I'll click that and I'll take me back to my risk assessment workspace and I would be able to see any simulated risk assessments. And as a reviewer, I can come in and click on this. This is gonna look really similar to the person who was completing it, but I'll show you the button there for view assessment instead of complete assessment, I think, or start assessment. And now I can walk through and see all the responses as if it were an actual assessment. And I'll just wrap this up with saying, we're gonna go ahead and say, hey, I didn't like this. It didn't do what I wanted. I'm gonna start over. Maybe we're gonna change something. Or in the easy case for a demo that we're showing this real briefly, I'm gonna hit the delete button here. Not publish, but I'm gonna hit delete. And you're gonna see where it's not only gonna delete this particular assessment, it's gonna delete the corresponding residual inherent and control assessments that were associated with that particular risk assessment. So now my copy is gone from my risk assessment methodology and the simulated assessment that I did is gone and none of my metrics are gonna change, none of my aggregations, none of my scores are gonna be messed up by me testing out some changes to the configuration or the workflows associated with that risk assessment methodology. So that's it, that's the new feature in Tokyo for advanced risk. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in practicing or simulating their risk assessments before they go live in production. Until next time, don't forget to always be learning.